You guys remember when the freaking garage fell on our head? Not on our head, on my freaking blazer. What are you guys gonna be doing? Shaking ass? And it just get what? Come on, can you I you. speak? I'm getting nervous right now. <laughs> I'm attractive. <laughs> okay, you want me to pick you off? Take you back off of that top. Yeah, I don't okay. know if I'll be able to hold hold you, but yeah, go ahead. Stop. Boop, boop, bus, bus. It's really <laughs> Hey, hey guys. guys, welcome back to the Jazzy Podcast. We are back with another episode, you guys. And I am so sorry for this episode because Cam 2 is going to get a little bit of Jake in the frame because we're still trying to like coordinate how to actually like place the cameras in order for you guys to get the best shot. But this time it just didn't work because there is light outside. As you guys can tell, we closed this window, but because of the light, the cameras get thrown off. It's a whole thing. So I am so sorry for our video watchers from our audio listeners all good how was your morning <laughs> very very much happy thursday you guys we hope if you're on the road you get a, a safe trip to and from where you're going and a great day like start your morning off with the jalty podcast and you're gonna have a great day yes you are it is a beautiful morning today as you're watching this we are probably still asleep because we are, i'm not waking up at 4 a.m eastern time but it's gonna be an amazing day today's supposed to be actually for all of my cali people it's supposed to start getting hot again uh, another heat wave yes. i thought we were good i thought september was gonna go into fall again no you know what actually what that's what? crazy the heat wave yeah no it's actually really bad so we actually got a break if you're in cali you you got the wave of like oh wait actually thursday's still gonna be a little cold but don't worry starting saturday our temperatures are going right back up you guys we are literally going into another heat wave not as bad as the last one this one's only gonna hit 95 but it's still freaking hot and i was just about to put all my t-shirts away i already did did you that's why i'm wearing this i got rid of all of my fall clothes you guys i packed everything up i decorated the house for fall i decorated my closet for fall the only thing i'm missing is my shoes like my ugg shoes but that that's it everything's fall falled out in my life i feel like since i left high school i don't really remember what california weather is throughout the entire day because for the most part i'm either inside or somewhere else but now yes. that you think about it like dude i'd have two outfits like either a hoodie and then uh, a t-shirt underneath to give right. me air you know you know what that is such a like spring and fall thing spring is worse though because spring you'll wake up in the morning and it's like freaking 40 degrees and then it's gonna be like 85 in the like by 12 or 1 oh my gosh core memory i forgot mm. about that talking about that we're gonna bring up a topic that I feel like you guys hate when I talk about this. Like you actually hate it so much, but I just think it's such a funny topic. So I grew up with my dad always talking about how like whenever we'd say his age, like he would hate it. Like he would throw a fit. He did not like being rem <laughs> reminded really? of his age. Yeah. Like, you know how there's those teachers who are like, don't tell me um, or don't tell me my age. That's rude. Okay. My dad was always like that. My <laughs> mom wasn't. Knew. Yeah. You know, he, even till this day, you always call him 50 and he gets hella mad. Remember? Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. So. Anyway, my dad was always that kind of person. And I would always like just kind of throw it in his face like, ooh, you're going to hit 40. Da, 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 right? Well, actually, on my dad's 40th birthday, you know what we did? What'd you do? Made him a carrot cake? I remember. We made him a 40 theme party. So like on everything, like the balloons, we wrote 40 on everything. <laughs> that is so mean, dude. That is actually so mean. But you know what? Karma, karma lets absolutely nobody slide. Zero people. Nobody gets through karma. So... I remember being kind of like hella of a menace with my dad because he hated his age. My dad, I think, has always had a hard time aging. So now that I've hit 20, 20, shut 20 years up. Old. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, people are watching this older than 21. They're like, damn, I feel even old. They're, dude, they're acting like your dad. Dude, it's so funny because they get so mad when I say that. But I just think it's so funny. Anyway, <laughs> whatever. No, but I do feel old. Anyway, I was thinking about this because every time I hang out with Nelly and Tito, I kid you not, I feel like a grandma. And nothing makes me more mad than feeling like a grandma. Like, you know, when you were in high school and people would be like, enjoy your years. Like that. And you'd be like, shut the hell up. I just want to get out of here. Like, literally, you're yapping. Okay, that's me now. And it just, how did we get here? So there's an entire segment I want to get into here. I'm not just yapping for no reason, even though I do love to yap. So I want to get into things that make us feel old, okay? <laughs> because every time people are like, Nat, you're not old. It's like, I know I'm not old, but I'm also not necessarily in high school anymore. So I want to talk about things that make us feel old. I have a list because okay. that's how bad it is. Okay, I want to start. <laughs> I feel like things that make me feel old are my music genres and like the music that I listen to. I, I feel like I'm stuck in 2016 music and 2016, 2017 max. Like that's the music where I'm like, that's goaded. And it reminds me of my parents where they only play like 90s music because that's the music they, yes. they thought they were goaded. 
Okay, you want me to piggy off, piggyback off of that topic? Yeah, I don't okay. know if I'll be able to hold, hold you, but yeah, go ahead. Jake, is it because of my age? <laughs> <laughs> no, hear me Because of my age. Babe, listen to this. So there was this TikTok of this girl. She posted it, and it was where there was a comment where it's like, wait, Harry Styles was in One Direction? Question mark, question mark, question mark. And then the person under that was like, oh my gosh, apparently he got famous off of One Direction. <laughs> do you know how bad that is i don't think you're understanding the degree of yeah, this. yeah i think that's like knowing justin timberlake and uh not knowing in sync yes <laughs> yes everyone was commenting about that yeah and it's like wait there's actually people that didn't know harry from one direction like they know him as harry that's great Th jake we're old bruh <laughs> that was so bad anyway when i saw that i was like and then people in the comments were like no but to be honest i didn't even know like harry <laughs> I don't even know. I, the only people I can name in One Direction are Harry and, I guess, Liam. That's the and only Zane. people. No, okay, but see, you know now, what? Know. But you're a boy. That's different. This was like two girls who were commenting this. Like two young girls. Yeah, so anyway. That oh, threw young me, girls. <laughs> yeah, bro. That threw me off the fucking hill. Like, that was like, wow. Yeah, we're doomed. Anyway, another one. You ready? Wait, was that your one? Okay, you want me to hit you with one now? Wait, okay. I kind of just hit you one. So it, hit me with okay, one. okay. So I don't know. Recently, I've been bending down, like just straight bending down, not even bending my knees and like reaching to get stuff. And my back spasms out of nowhere. And I feel like when I was younger, nothing like that would have ever happened. Nothing. So I'm like, I'm getting old because I can't do these young activities anymore. So I'm, I'm just bending down and I, like, I get a back spasm and I can't move for the rest of the day like bending downwards without yeah, bending well, my knee. Yeah, well, apparently, like, every decade, you start, like, obviously crashing. Deteriorating. Yeah, deteriorating, deteriorating pretty much. <laughs> but I think once you hit 30, after that is when, like, you really start to deteriorate. Okay, this is a perfect example. Like, have you guys ever done any sport? Like, literally, I'm talking any sport, but specifically, like, snowboarding. Okay, when you go snowboarding, you realize how much how immune little kids are to life they will literally get on the fucking ice and like do backflips while you can't even stand up like kids and who explained it to us i think it was um one of our instructors was like it's because kids have no fear like kids can't measure well they can it's not that they can't measure the the problems and things but when you're older you like see things as like shit if i fall i might break something yeah, you, and you know you have more of like a butterfly effect in your head you're like you have that fear you know and um kids don't and when i say kids i don't just mean first of all right now i'm just talking about little ass kids like when i tell you we would see kids on the ice that were like two years old i mean it these kids couldn't even walk like they can't bend they just stand up on the board just <laughs> holding like their arms straight out and just going down <laughs> the mountain just yeah they're just going down and if they like slightly start to fall they just like place their little ass fucking finger because their legs are so short so that they can like keep themselves up versus you you can't do that you know so anyway those little kids obviously they're on a whole different level where they can just do things that you just can't do like gymnastics have you seen little kids doing gymnastics i had a cousin who was in gymnastics and he dude he was just a different tier insanity it's so crazy and then you go into the other level right which is like the preteens, teens okay these motherfuckers still like I feel like when I was a preteen, like when I was like 11, dude, I remember we, me and my dad would run the five mile loop, like, like nothing, the whole thing, run it like crazy, come down and I was still good to go. Like I could wake up, I could get like three hours of sleep and I was chilling and we would do everything. I feel like, I don't know. I was just way more um, energetic. You had energetic. more energy back then. Huh? <laughs> I don't know what it was. And you know what? It could be, I think a factor could be stress. I didn't have stress back then. I didn't have any problems in life. I didn't have. I didn't have anything. It to could worry be about. the coffee too, because your body right. wasn't used to the coffee. All right, and now that you're like, I not need doing. the coffee. Coffee, Jake. I don't think you understand what coffee does to me. It's not just the physical effect of me getting more energy, right? It's the mental, like. I'm going to get my coffee and I'm going to have a good day. I know someone's listening to this, like drinking their coffee right oh now. They're my, like, Jake, it's the one thing that keeps us going. <laughs> if you're listening right now and you got a coffee in your car or you got a coffee in your hand, you got to take a sip for that one. It's insane because coffee, it, it's, it's really, I would say more of the mental than the physical. Like when I think of, dude, you know what makes me excited? Bless you. Thank you. What makes you excited? Like going either to get a coffee or making the coffee. Like I feel like that <laughs> brings my... Is it serotonin? <laughs> yeah. It's just, it makes me automatically have a good day. Like when I'm not trying to get out of bed, I'm just thinking about like the smell of my espresso coming out of my machine and like mixing it with my syrup. And it just get, but come on. You can I be, speak? You, you got to be a good podcaster, can brother. Nobody <laughs> hears this. No, they can. They smell that. <laughs> that shit was loud. So yeah, it just makes me happy, you know? So I don't appreciate you talking shit about my coffee. I was just giving an, like an instant. <laughs> 
Oh, oh my god. So good. I don't know. I think I think your coffee is like equivalent to my Red Bulls. I like I'm obsessed with them. And I know it's bad for me, but I have to have like at least one a day. At least. Because it makes me happy. Like just every slurp is amazing. It's just like a how do I explain like a sensation going on in my mouth? I just can't justify paying money for any kind of rebel at like a Dutch Bros at any place. Like I just can't justify it because you know how easy it is to make that shit at home. They use Tarani syrups and they use cream. I'm just talking about like the regular Dutch bro. I mean the regular uh, Red Bull. Oh, like you just pop open a can? Like any can, yeah. Yeah, okay, that's different. Yeah, I, there's a lot of people who also like the same way that I am with coffee. Like they'll go through a drive through to get themselves like a Red Bull drink. But that I just can't justify. Because coffee, it is a lot more, um, it's difficult. Nah, yeah, because I'm, the thing like that messes me up the most is when I order a Red Bull, I mean, yeah, a Red Bull drink, you can't mess it up. Mm -mm. But with coffee, dude, you're like, all right, please. I'm, you're crossing your fingers and you're ordering the coffee, like <laughs> hoping it comes out good. Because if it doesn't come out good, seven, eight dollars wasted. And then you, you get like the the pit feeling of like, damn, do I have to ask for a new one? And then everyone is mad at you the whole day. Dude, ha getting a bad coffee at a coffee shop is equivalent to like your outfit looking bad. It's that like my day is ruined. Let me go back into bed and not come out till tomorrow. Like we need to hit the restart or the reset button because it just ruins your day. Not only did you just wait in line, especially when you wait in line like forever. Okay. That was my biggest trigger waiting in a long ass line and getting bad coffee. Or you want to know what's another trigger? And what? When you get a bad coffee and you're like debating whether you should go back and like ask for them to remake it, which by the way, I've, I think I've only asked like once in my entire life for a remake, just going up, Hey, can you remake it? It just sounds like a very douchey thing to but do. But if they mess it up for like for the first time, what makes you think they're going to fix it? That's what I was going to get to that. It's like, even if you ask to remake it, cause what I would do before, like back when I used to get Starbucks coffee, the one thing that they would always mess up. Okay. My thing was the brown sugar shake and espresso. Okay. That was my, that was the it drink, but it would never be consistent. One day you could get a delicious, like nice, creamy, bomb, brown sugar shake and espresso. Or another day you could get something that looked like they put no milk in it. Or another day you could get something with three pieces of ice. Yeah. So it was like- Sometimes it was so brown and sometimes it was so light. It wasn't ever consistent. But I feel like that's the problem with Starbucks. They're never consistent In general, it, that's with chains, period. Like you yeah, go to a right. Denny's, one Denny's might be good, one might not. Once you get like that big, it's just consistency gets thrown out the window. But it was just kind of like, if you didn't make it right the first time, like what makes me think that you're gonna make it right the second time? And aside from that, what I would do is if it was too dark, I would just be like, can I get us like just a little cup with some oat milk so that I could put the oat milk on top? But it just wasn't good because like sometimes the syrup was just not like the right way too and then, sweet too. And then if you ask like for the cup of oat, I mean the cup of oat milk on the side, like sometimes you have to ask in a certain way for them not to charge you. You have to say like a splash or like this or that, like, you know? Yes, bruh. So it's just like, and then it got to the point where I was, I was buying my own oat milks at home. So I would come home. Okay. After I waited in line, got a trash drink, come home and then put my oat milk. It was just like, oh, <laughs> you know what I realized? What? We're so old to the point we get mad at coffee. That's how old we are. Thank you. You just named another one. We are Karens of coffee. Mm -hmm. And I think that's like with a lot of things too. Not only coffee, like. If they put sour cream on our food. No, but that was always like that. Oh. I never, you know what it is though, Jake? I feel like when someone does your order wrong, that's okay to ask for a remake. It's when someone does an order the way you don't like it. That's when it's like, uh, you just got to shut the fuck up. But when, for example, if I ask Chick-fil-A, the number one offender. If I ask for no <laughs> pickles and you give me pickles, I'm going to ask you to give me but another one. Why don't you just take the pickles Because it off. smells. It's vinegar. So it gets like into the fucking bun and into the chicken. That's bomb. You don't like pickles? No. I want to know what the ratio of our, our like audience you who likes pickles and who doesn't like pickles. Oh, I know. I want to know too. Do you guys like pickles? I think pickles is a really iffy thing. You either love it or you hate it. There's I, no in between. I feel like if you have an audience that likes pickles more than they don't like pickles, then they're like... You're never gonna get canceled by that audience because they're like the stronger people in the world. Sorry, what, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to put you down. Wait, what? What? I didn't understand. The, so if, the I think if we have an audience that likes pickles more than we don't that don't like pickles, okay. then we won't get canceled. They're like the the top tier because they're not picky. Yeah, I can see why you could put that together. Like they're, they're just like right, I'm. I'm just true. I'm, I don't even care what the concept. But about. it I'm might be the same motherfuckers listening. that don't like tomato. If you don't like pick, if you like pickles and you don't like tomato, to be honest, <laughs> I don't know where you're gonna be at the end of your uh, life. Bro. 
That is crazy. Well, I guess they just like the vinegary taste. Because I'll be honest, pickles, I like pickles. Like, I love them, but they're not the most appetizing. I don't know how to explain. Like, it's a pickly taste. Same thing with mustard. Like, I like Ooh. mustard, and I'm not picky with mustard. But if I have too much of it on my hamburger, it's like, oh, damn, who made this burger? You know who always throws me off? Who? People who like pickles, but they don't like cucumbers. Jail. Go straight to jail. Get your ass a pass to jail right yeah, now. Yeah, that's true. That is insanity. Is it because it's plain? I think that's what it is. Do you guys just not like that it's plain? I can see wait, that. Wait, wait, that was me back then. So, like, before I met you, I didn't oh really like God. cucumbers at all. I hated cucumbers. I don't know what they tasted like. They just didn't taste how they taste now. And I didn't like cucumbers at all. So, I would, like, eat pickles, put hot Cheetos and pickles, go to baseball games, eat pickles. As soon as I see the cucumber, I, like, walk away because the smell... Everything about the it. The smell, Jake. Cucumbers don't even have a smell. It has. I think. I feel like that smell of cucumbers is like the. It has to have lemon on it, and it has the cucumbery smell. You know what I'm talking about? Mm. It's like the fresh smell. It's a. Fr- I like, like it that? now. I like it now. But back then, I didn't like it. What? Do you, I, all, do you also want to like onion? I loved onion. So you liked onion, but not cucumbers. Mm-hmm. That is so awesome, and it's just like crazy how your brain works that way. Because how? One is very strong, and one isn't. I just don't understand. Why do our brains do that? Like, I <laughs> love ketchup. Me and ketchup, we're like this. We're speaking like this. speaking of getting older, dude, like, our taste buds change. So I wonder what I don't like right now that I will like in the future. Because I didn't like coffee. Now I like coffee. I think I forced you into that one. No lie. I think I just kind of do it. You know what it is? It's the that, like, effect. hang out with or whoever you hang out with is who you're going to be. That I, You've been with me for so long, and that's what I do Every day, multiple times a day. I don't just get one coffee. I get multiple coffees a day. And now you're acting like your sister a little too much, though. You're hanging out with her every single day, Nat. You come home and you do like a little like a little trend with me. And I'm, I don't feel, I mean, no, no. I don't finish the trend that you guys do. And you're like, oh, I miss Nella now. Like the, in Target the other day, like she was so excited because we were buying something. And she grabs my hand and she starts jumping. And I just grab her hand and I'm looking at her just jump. Like I'm like, what is she doing? And she's like. Oh, and then I would have done it. And then she just walked away. I'm like, dude, what the heck? I didn't even know what she was talking about. She's like my second brain. Yesterday, we, me and Nelly were hanging out. That, wait, 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 sorry to cut you off. That's not your second brain, bro. You two are like half a brain each. <laughs> That's like one brain in total. You know, she just finishes my, you know, the people who just finish your sentence. Yeah. It's just not you, babe. It's, it's your really, best. it's Nelly. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, speaking about you two, you guys want to go, you want to talk a little bit about your venture? Because you guys did a lot of shopping (gasps) recently. Yes. Okay, so in the last podcast, we had talked to you guys about how we wanted to start a gaming channel and like if you guys would watch it, you know, all of that. And we were kind of like on the fence about it because my biggest fear is not kind of like taking the fun out of something that I love to do, which I love to game. So, and I think also failing, but then I really got to thinking and I was like, in reality, like what is failing, you know, because as long as I'm having fun with it, that's, that's success to me. And I, there was a point in time where me and Jake were streaming. We bought everything to stream and we were streaming and it was so much fun. Like I love playing games. And then I also thought about it because in my brain, it was like, well, nobody watches or plays for Minecraft anymore. So like nobody's going to want to watch our videos, you know? But then I thought about it. I'm like, I love watching Minecraft. Like I still watch Minecraft videos till this day. You know, so there has to be other people out there that do too. And even if we get like zero views, it's just going to be so much fun because we get to play and we get to start our own world and it's just gonna be so much fun. And how are we going to fail if we don't have anything right now? You know, even getting one subscriber means we already succeeded because we have zero right now. Have low expectations and you won't fail. Got it. Got it. (laughs) I know. And I just feel like I've been kind of really scared for a lot of things and I feel like it stopped me and even for my channel like before I started my YouTube channel I was so scared to start you know I was so scared and I was like what if I fail and I just I put it off for so long because I was so scared and I don't know it worked and I just had to get over my fear so you know so are you guys mainly gonna be playing Minecraft or is it gonna be like a variety of games it's gonna be like an all gaming channel I want to say we want to play more than just Minecraft, but we love Minecraft. So it might be like 90% Minecraft, 10% all the other stuff. But you know what would be so fun? GTA. GTA. Me and Nelly playing GTA, bro. Comedy. Comedy. And what don't are y'all going to be like doing? We're not inviting what you. are you guys going to be doing? Shaking ass? It's because I didn't Running play. people over. I didn't play GTA growing up, so Go I don't know. clubs. Natalie. <laughs> You're going to get demonetized. <laughs> no, nah, I'm just kidding. We're just going to run people over, you know. Oh, you know my dad plays GTA? That'd be so funny to get my dad playing GTA Yeah, with us. and he, Tito caught him up in front of your mom. I remember. 
They set him <laughs> up, bro. I remember that. <laughs> they put my dad in a strip club in GTA and they set him up and they brought my mom in. They told him to go to like the place of the unicorn and then <laughs> your mom comes in. <laughs> Imagine, dude, like I'm just, I'm playing the game and I'm in the strip club and you come in my room. I remember, um, who was in the strip club last time we went to your parents' house? Joel. Joel was in the strip club. <laughs> and on the big TV in the big living room, bro. <laughs> when, That's so when funny. When there was a party going on. That is so funny. <laughs> so yeah, yesterday we went to go buy all of the stuff for the actual gaming channel. And I'm really excited. And we're first going to start off, well, today, well, this is the thing. Me and Nelly, we just can't do anything right, seriously. We went to go buy all this stuff. And then when we were unpacking, we lost the freaking um, display port cable, which basically like connects your PC to your monitor. And if you don't have that cable, you literally cannot, you don't have, you can't even turn the damn thing on. So we lost it. And we think we might have thrown it away, but we had Tito go dig through the trash and he didn't find it. But then again, it's Tito. So I don't know if he just missed it. And then we looked, <laughs> we literally flipped Nelly's room upside down, bro. And we couldn't find the damn cord. So now she doesn't have a cord. So now we have to go today to get her a new cord and then plug it in. And then we and then we can actually start a channel. But before that, we first have to make a Minecraft server, which if you know anything about that, it is just, ah, oh, it's just not easy. It's, it, what about it? It's not poo poo bus bus. It's really not. <laughs> it's really not. It's not what? It's not what? It's because my dad, whenever he tells us that we have to do something fast, he's gonna, he goes, and then, and then it's boom, boom, bus, bus. <laughs> <laughs> but this really is not that, bro. It's so hard. Dude, my dad's so funny, man. That's a character. Oh, my god! I saw my dad yesterday. He was talking so much shit to us because we spent so much money on the PC stuff. He just doesn't see the vision, you know? He has to see the vision. You know, I always tell my dad, my dad, you could be, you could make so much money if you just started a building channel. One day, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to employ my dad. I'm going to pay him 10 bucks an hour and I'm going to record him doing building stuff and I'm going to take all the profit. Speaking of building channel, I was building a, my closet yesterday. All right. Mm -hmm. And I guess our closet isn't like the perfect dimension for like a random Home Depot dimensions. All right. Our closet is 28 and a half inches um, across. So it's like that's that's how that's how wide it is. And they only make 20, 20 uh, 30 inches wide and they only make 24 inches wide. So I had to get 30. Right. I got mm -hmm. 30 inch closet doors. And in total, that's like the total of the both doors because they're bifold. And I had to cut like an inch and a half on one side. So I cut an inch and a half. Come to find out, it's not a wooden closet door. It's like filled with wood on top and on the bottom. And it's empty in the middle. It's hollow. And I didn't know that. So as soon as I cut it, I'm like, all right, this is going to be easy. I'm just going to cut it. And then I'm going to sand it down, paint it again, and I'm putting it back up. I cut it, and it's empty. I look inside, it's empty. And I'm like, dude, no freaking way. So now I have to do Cut it again, sand it down again, and then put like a little wooden, uh, what is that? Like a wooden pillar? Yeah. And staple that thing, dude. It's, it was supposed to be like a 30 to 45 minute job. I now told it's you been, it wasn't, babe. We just did that job. Now it's day two on doing that closet door. Because if you guys remember, we did those closet doors for my office like forever ago. And my dad took an entire day doing that. And he had all his tools. Like obviously. And I didn't have, have like. Three Home Depot trips already. And every time I do it, I'm like, damn, I don't have this. So I have to go Home Depot real fast. No, yeah. It took my dad forever. I knew it was really, really hard. And another thing is that our walls are so crooked. This is a whole thing we could get into, you guys. But, like, I think we've talked about it before, which we're going to have an episode really, really soon talking about this, by the way. But because our freaking new build is built by freaking five-year-olds, all the walls are crooked. So if you have a straight, like, imagine just like a, if you're trying to put doors, right? Your doors are naturally straight. The fucking wall isn't straight. So when you try to put it, you have gaps on the side that are so bad because the walls like literally wiggled. Like it's just so bad, which makes your job a million times harder because now you have to fill that, which is not, not boom, boom, pass, pass. Okay. <laughs> it's really hard. So yeah, it's just the whole thing. And you haven't put the little thing at the top. I, I'm not putting the thing at the top. Uh, yes, you are. Cause it's going to look like trash if you don't, <laughs> you know what? You can buy the, um, there's this little thing kind of like, you see how the blinds have like, that it comes out and it covers the top. Yeah, that's what I think I'm going to buy. Yeah, which is, I didn't want that. My dad made one custom for me. Yours looks, yeah. nah, Ari, I don't want, I don't want to shit on your dad's work, but I looked at your closet, Nat. Have you looked up on it and like inspected that thing? Yeah, it took him a day. If he wanted to do it hella nice, he had to literally redo the fucking, well, do what you did. He didn't cut the door. You know, yeah, the, you no, know your door? He did cut the door. Not like you though. How did he cut it? he knew that the inside of the door was hollow. He couldn't cut it like that. So he actually cut the entire side of the wall and then sanded down the, the little fucking door. He cut the door. side of the wall? Yes, he cut the side. You didn't <laughs> see how it's like repainted? <laughs> because what you did, you cut a fucking door that's hollow on the inside. Yeah, it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. 
I don't know, but I got a lot of work to do still today. I know. And I need to help you today. I don't know. I'm just a busy man. I'm a very busy man. POV, it's your first time doing anything in the house? Okay, but the rest of my life, I'm helping you. Yeah, you're right. And while you're at it, while you're on doing your big boy shit, can you fix the baseboard? <laughs> Not the baseboard, but the little thing. Yeah, the little strip right here on top yeah, of the, the stairs. Yeah, the little strip. It's because, so here's, a, on today's episode, I don't know, I think more shit of our new build. So they had put carpet in our house, okay? And there's concrete underneath the carpet. But our concrete is like all cracked, okay? All cracked. When I tell you this house is going to fall on somebody's head one day. So it's just such bad quality. So my dad was like, I'm not drilling into this thing. Because when you put the edge, oh, I, f- I feel like I'm talking gibberish right now. Okay, so at the edge of a staircase, right, You ha- there's like a little piece that goes on the edge. Because obviously when you're putting flooring. Yeah, you, you can't put like a, just a straight floor. And you have to put something that's curved and covers that part of the yes, edge. Yes, that covers the edge. Okay, normally that thing is supposed to like be drilled or it's secured pretty much because obviously it's an edge. So you're going to be walking and if it's not drilled, it's going to be falling off. Anyway, my dad was like, yeah, I'm not doing this. I'm not taking the responsibility of drilling into this. And so he was just like, we're just going to fucking like put this certain type of like glue on it that because he was able to drill the other piece. But that one, it was just so unstable. He's like, I'm not doing this. So we put like a glue, but our fucking dogs trip over everything. So they hit it every time they go through and it got to the point where it just ripped off. So you have to re. <laughs> <laughs> re-tape it, re-glue it, re-something. Since we're talking about shitty homes, are you ready to talk about what our next topic is? Oh, my gosh. Well, yeah, we could, like, get into it a little bit, but... We're not going to get too much into detail. We'll probably tell you, like, the number and just... No, uh, I don't even think we should do that. No, not the number yet? No, well, let's just tell them that we just made a huge mistake. So we were looking into buying a house the uh, for the past, like, six months, seven months. Six How long? months? It's been a while, actually. It's literally been since last year. Yeah. I was home shopping since last year. So, yeah. We basically, um, we should have learned our lesson, and it was for sure our fault. It was really really nobody else's fault. Like, we should have learned our lesson because we already live in a new build home right now, and we know how it is. And another thing is when we actually purchased this home that we're in today, we didn't do a frame walk. So if you know anything about a home buying process when it comes to new builds, you have to do a frame walk, which is basically where they bring you in and there's only the framing and the electrical done, like the plumbing, that kind of stuff done, not the drywall. And you are able to like take a look at the house. So when you actually move in, you know where the pipes are at, the cables are at, like all of that stuff in case you want to do any upgrades to your home. So we didn't actually get to do that because when we bought this house we were still kind of like in the covid kind of situation it wasn't fully it was two years after covid but it, we were still kind of in that vibe where they could use covid as an excuse to like yes delayed I, work and stuff yes it was like during that era and they were basically back backed up on supplies like it was where there was all those shipping delays so they had chosen our flooring already they had chosen everything in our house like we did we couldn't upgrade anything all the features were already you know added it was pretty much standard so because of that when we purchased this place they had already picked everything and they didn't even let it they didn't offer us a frame walk even though they could have because when we first came we have pictures of this house when it was still like literally in like frames. in frame but they didn't give us that option which is just like we could go into this you know for a whole podcast talking about how shitty this whole thing was. But they didn't even offer it to us, and it was our first time buying, and we just didn't know any better. We didn't even know a framework existed. No, we didn't. They didn't even offer it to us. So, obviously, we didn't. We would, this is funny, because we would drive to, like, this place, and we would just stare at it from the outside. Like, even though it was our freaking home, we never even walked inside of it, because we didn't even know it was an option, because they didn't even give us the freaking option to ever come inside and, you know, see any of that, which... Honestly, might have been a blessing in disguise because if we would have seen the quality of work underneath the drywall, we might have got spooked the same way we got spooked this time around. So we didn't get to do that. So we weren't a, we weren't really kind of like aware of the quality underneath. Now, my dad for the longest time has always told us to never, ever, ever buy a track home, which is pretty much this. Like any home that any new build construction, not all of them. Like if you do a custom home, that's different. But if you go to a community and buy a house and you know how all the houses look the same, that's track home. It's the same thing with the Starbucks talking about earlier. There's no consistency. It's just bad because it's not the builder. The thing is that it's not the builder. You know, let's say, I don't even want to name a builder because we're going to get freaking sued. But let's say a builder, right? Jake builds homes. Jake builds home. There you go. One, two, three. 
he's not the one building the damn houses. You're buying them from Jake Built Home, but you, he's not the one buying them. He subcontracts people in that area. Now, I don't know where they go wrong here. I don't know if it's just that they pick the cheapest people or I don't, I don't know what the problem is, how things get so messed up, but the homes are just built like trash. The materials they put into your house is like the bottom of the barrel. Like when I, let me tell you, I don't know if we've told them this. Our appliances were appliances that were refurbished, not refurbished. Yeah, they're like from a liquidator. Yes. Like basically when our appliances were all defective, okay, and they fucking gave them to us as like new appliances. So when you try to get anything from their warranty, they were like, these appliances were literally like a liquidation. Like They were used already for the warranty and given back to us yes. brand new. Yes. <laughs> That's how bad it was, you guys. So we couldn't even, like if something takes a shit on us, we have to pretty much completely replace it because there is no such thing as like the warranty on it. There just is. And it just sucks so bad because these are things that, you can't even do. Do you guys remember when the freaking garage fell on our head? Not on our head, on my freaking blazer. Oh my like, gosh, that was crazy. If you don't remember that, look, literally the garage came out of the wall because it wasn't uh, drilled into any studs. It was drilled straight into the drywall and the garage weighed so much. So it fell completely onto Nat's blazer. <laughs> we have we pictures. We can't make this shit up. Like this is real stuff that we're telling you guys. So we just should have learned our lesson. My dad has always told us, my dad used to work at track homes and he would do the drywall in them. So he was able to see the actual work, you know, the quality of work. Because once the drywall is up, you guys, you can't see, you'll never know. You'll like, you never know what's under the drywall because the drywall is literally, it covers everything. You're never going to know. The best way to tell, okay, this is like, this should have been red flag number one for me is I remember when we went into the model home of this other place that we were looking at. We went to the model home. I remember looking at the um, the master wall and I looked at it from the side and it was like, lit oh, for our audio listeners, it was curving in and out. It was like it not- It wasn't straight. It was not a straight line. If a wall <laughs> is like, if you can visibly see the curvature in the wall and it wasn't just like one slight curve. No, the whole thing, like the baseboard looked like it was like a wiggle. Like that's how bad it was. And again, like you could give me this quality work all you want, but it better be a cheap house. That's that's the problem with these homes is that they give you the price. Like if it was luxury, top, you know, top notch work, but it's actually the worst quality work you can ever freaking get. And now it goes a lot deeper. Like I'm fully, fully convinced that the inspectors in the city, they're all in on this. Like there's no way because how is it that they pass inspections but wait but wait let you hire just like an average outside you know not a big home builder let let you get a contractor right just outside and they build you a house let them have one thing slightly off oh. and the inspector is on their ass 100 percent. yeah they're not gonna pass you but these homes dude it's funny because i follow this guy we're gonna make a whole podcast on this entire situation that we're speaking about because it was a really expensive mistake yeah we need to get our money back <laughs> yeah hold on we're gonna make a whole video on it and it's coming soon it's gonna come next month but there's this, and I'm going to talk about this guy. There was this guy that I found on TikTok who basically, I always repost his stuff, but who basically exposes builders and he's in Arizona and theirs are bad. So, 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 so bad. And I'm talking bad to where like they leave vents freaking open on the roof. Like it's so bad and they pass inspection. Yeah. The, the inspectors definitely have to be getting the cut or something like, yeah, hey, I'm going to slide you, I'm going to slide you three, 4% and you just pass all my homes. Yeah, and you know what the, so there was this contractor that we spoke to and he was like, what happens is that they go into like one house out of all of the houses that have to pass inspection and they'll just inspect one and they'll pass all of them. So you just never know what you're getting. So the biggest takeaway that you can take from this is just do not buy a home from these huge builders. Now, if it's like a smaller company who built like three houses on a street, that's a whole lot different than a freaking home, a master planned community with 500 houses, two different things. So you just make sure that you do your research because I love my house so, so much, right? Where we're at right now. I love it so much, but till this day, we're dealing with the consequences of purchasing from this builder who was just like one giant, you know, we just didn't know any better. But now we do. I'm just glad we can't see through the walls. I mean, through the drywall here. Yeah. And again, it would be fine if this house was like, I don't know, $200,000. Mm -hmm. 
You know what I mean? But it's that the price that they sell you these things that makes you think, wow, like I have a brand new house that is built with the top quality materials and that's why it was so expensive. And it's no, you just paid a lot of money to your builder's pockets. That's all it is. So sad. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to be coming out with an episode on YouTube, like a YouTube video and another podcast explaining that into much, much more detail. Yeah, we just can't just yet because we haven't finished it. Like the whole situation is already way over with, but we just can't fully release it because we haven't finished the video because we want to make sure that we put everything in like the correct form. And we just want to make sure that we, we make a video that's well structured. Yeah, it's going to put it's going to be a lot of Odyssey being put into that video. Yeah, no, seriously, it's going to take a lot of time, but I'm really, really excited. Look at my pumpkin. If you are our video watcher this pumpkin is my pride and joy and i hate that jacob always grabs it by the stem and he almost pulls it out every single time so i'm gonna have it on my side because i see you fidgeting with it right now <laughs> i'm sorry bro Chill. <laughs> we didn't finish our segment talking about things that make me feel old okay what else makes you feel old okay. aside from being grumpy at me oh i'm not grumpy uh -huh. i've always been grumpy that has nothing to do with age <laughs> okay so i talked about hanging out with tito right yeah you talked about it okay well i didn't fully let me okay. get more into it tito you know, before, I remember we used to say phrases, like me and my siblings, we used to say phrases, and our older cousins just wouldn't understand them. Like, I'd be like, oh, they're old, because they wouldn't get it. They wouldn't get our lingo. Like, what is something we would say back in the day that was, like, not back in the day, like, five years ago that was, like, in the in trend? Bruh. You know what? I guess bruh is one of them. Yeah, because I don't really hear little kids say bruh. Anymore. Now my dad mocks me. He always goes, what's up, bruh? <laughs> he thinks it's still in. <laughs> you know what? And I still use bruh in every video. I guess that could be something. But bro, was it like the main thing back then? The biggest thing? Mm. Yeah. So now I feel like it's so many different words and Tito always uses them. Like what's crashing out? Oh, crashing out is like when you don't give, like you don't care at all. You're just like, I don't know. You're just, I don't know. You're crashing out. You don't know what crashing out no, is? No, I heard it for the first time when Nelly told it to me the other day. Like you, you see like a crash out, like a kid that's a crash out. He doesn't care about like, the consequences. He's going to, he's going to make Destroy stuff. Steal stuff. Yeah, never heard that before. You know how embarrassed I was when she said that? And I was like, question marks on my forehead all over. So, yeah, it just made me feel so old. And hanging out with them yesterday really made me think I'm kicking the bucket soon. <laughs> Next one. Home Depot has become my favorite store. I'm going there later today, and I'm excited, dude. I'm, gonna buy, I'm buying a new sander. I'm buying a nail gun. Oh, man. Jake, when I tell you I can name every single employee by their name, I mean it. That's how often we go to Home Depot. It's so, so, so bad. Like, back in the day, I don't know, our favorite store was like, I can't even think, Children's Place? I don't know. Not Home Depot. I'll tell you that much. Going to Home Depot with my dad was like the biggest chore in history of chores. Like, it was the worst. <laughs> we would, I would try to go around going to Home Depot so badly. Like, my dad would be like, oh, let's go to Home Depot. My dad, for Black Friday, he would wake up at 5 a.m. to go to Home Depot. And I'd be like, what the, what in the old is that? Now, I'm the first one in line on Black Friday for Home Depot. It's my <laughs> favorite thing in this world. The tables have turned. Yeah. You know, also my dad, his favorite store was Harbor Freight Tools, okay? I hated that store with everything in me because every time we would go, it was at least an hour of my dad looking at tools. The same thing with my dad. My dad loves Harbor Freight. It's like, it was literally their version of Target. And you know what? I love those stores now. <laughs> Jake, we're so imagine, old. Imagine when we have like a cool generator that we don't even need electricity to do to use anything for. We just mm -hmm. go camping with a generator. Mm -hmm. Quiet one though. Nothing too loud. Mm -hmm. Oh man. It's insanity, Jake. My, we're old. My Ryobi kit, bro, it's so big. I have a saw. I have drills. I have drill bits. I have every, dude, like, you know how old that is? And I don't know. I, I feel like I'm, I'm more of a Ryobi type of person now because it's just like plug and play with everything. Yeah, because we have the batteries of Ryobi already and we have the charger. So, like, what's the other one? Milwaukee? Yeah, we have Milwaukee, but we, we have, I don't know. I don't know why we got Milwaukee. Who gave me, well, you got Milwaukee. Yeah, I bought it. Freaking if amateur. I would have known, I would have just bought Ryo because we already have the batteries and everything for it. Yeah, so my next project is buying a toolbox for the garage because I have so many tools that I'm going to organize them. It's going to be like a white toolbox with a wood countertop, and I'm going to organize it so pretty because that's literally my, like, my vanity now. All right, and I'm tired of every single one of you guys saying, oh, my God, Jake mentioned he's going to do his room all the time. Like, all right. I heard y'all, and I'm going to prove you guys wrong. I'm finally going to redo my room. They're probably laughing at me right now. Yeah. I'm going to redo it. I'm doing step one, which is just to close the doors and getting used to, like, uh, using different tools and stuff. But after I put those closet doors up, I'm going to be unstoppable. Babe, that's so silly. I'm so happy for you. Like, honestly, you. there is nothing more attractive than that. 
I swear. You know what I was telling him? Oh my gosh. I'm getting is- nervous right now. <laughs> I'm attractive. <laughs> <laughs> no, let me let me finish. Look, the other day, so Jake's friends came over to the house and um, Jake had to take one of his friend's cars to like a shop to do, I don't, I can't tell you the specifics. Anyway, he had, it's like a BMW, right? And I was, I called Jake and I was like, cause I had to follow him to pick him up because he was going to drop off the car. And I called him, I was like, Jake, you know what? I always wondered, like when I was younger, I was always like, ooh, like I want a guy who has like a nice car, you know, all the, all the dumb shit you think about. And I was like, I never knew like how I was going to kind of, feel when you had when you were driving like a cool car because this was like a his car is pretty expensive right yeah he has an m3 yeah i don't know it's a cool bmw with the laser lights downpipe tune Sorry, loud as shit you can't drive next to it burns your ears couldn't be on facetime in the car because i couldn't hear him very loud right so i was like i ever i never knew how i was gonna you know feel when that happened and i called him i was like you know what jake i always wondered like oh when when you get your cool car like that's gonna be so cool because like we're gonna be able to go out to dinner in a super cool car not that his truck isn't cool but his truck is like cool dad vibes it's a different level it's like it's like cool young guy vibes versus dad vibes dad vibes yes they're both cool but two different kinds of cool and i was like oh i just it's it's whatever it gives f boy vibes i was like babe you just look like like a, one of those dudes that you know like those dudes that are trying to race on the street with their cool car i was like don't love it i love you in your truck like you have such mature boyfriend vibes you know and it's so crazy but when i came home yesterday and i went into your closet and i saw those closet doors up i was like wow <laughs> now you looked this, it up i mean you looked at it yeah i was so excited to come home and look it's like now this this is a work of art uh, 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 uh. <laughs> yes yes see that's like the trend stuff i was talking about earlier yeah. bro no i would have done it <laughs> she would have totally done it and it was just so awesome to see and i was like this is literally life like this you know it's like um that tiktok where it's like i i'm rich and it's like how much money do we have and it's no, like no money. i'm rich and it's mm-hmm. like you do and i was like wow this is really really everything that I've been looking forward to because I obviously grew up with my dad who knew how to do everything and coming home and there was closet and I know how hard it is to put those damn closet doors Bruh, up. I feel like such a failure though because I feel like my dad was the same way. That he knew how to build stuff? Yeah, and I don't know how to build nothing. Oh, I didn't. Now I'm learning. You're so. learning. Mm-hmm. And we have an entire kit of like tools now. Oh, people are going to start calling this grandma <laughs> grandpa soon. <laughs> Bro, we got to start our carpentry business. That everything. is insanity. That is literally crazy. You know what? This is so funny because I know people are laughing right now watching this podcast being like, you guys are so dumb. You're only 21. I know, but it's just funny. It's funny to talk about. You know, it's funny to joke about. It's it's just, it's comedy. Nothing, only for comedy purposes. <laughs> <laughs> not, not educational. But yeah, that was awesome, babe. And I'm so proud of you. And Thank I'm you. so excited to see the rest that comes up. And you guys haven't even seen, like, you guys have no idea what we built, okay? We built something awesome that we're looking at, but you guys can't see. And it took us three days to do. And I called my dad three times because we were failing. I'm kind of, I'm kind of embarrassed of the work, though. Why? <laughs> That's a gap. <laughs> <laughs> babe it's downstairs are you gonna put it today uh, i'll put it today yeah okay yeah we have two gaps it's okay because i ordered the replacement parts and now they're here we're, they're just waiting to be installed but no yeah this Wait, is awesome since we're talking about like the the cool car part are you gonna be upset when i get my m5 touring you get whatever year? you want next year you're not gonna be mad you could get whatever you want as long as you got me good then you get whatever you want get me a nice ass house and you get whatever you want all right sounds like a plan yeah Yes, I ma'am. know you still you still want to get a cool car, which I'm I'm excited for you. I, think I mean, that's like I feel like that's every person's dream is getting a cool car. Yeah, yeah. But I always I take my my truck for granted because I'm like, when people get a cool car, they end up like, oh, I'm tired of this car. I need a new a new like a new a car, bigger car. Their, sec- their second car is always a truck. Always a truck. And I have the second car already, mm-hmm. so I'm like, I'm I'm in I'm in the the best odds. No, you made a really odds. good decision. Like I think you made a really good decision about like not getting a cool car right now, and I. Because we had already been talking about getting a truck out because you had your Mazda and we couldn't do anything. I remember we couldn't do anything because like they don't fit. And we are the type of people to like travel a lot. We love going to lakes. We love doing all this fun stuff. And if you don't have a big car, it's just really, really hard, especially with like the dogs. It was just like a lot. So we had already been wanting, you know, a bigger car. But then Jake also really wanted a cool car. So we were in between like, oh, we were like, what, what do we get? Like, should, you know, you wanted the charger at the time. You wanted the charger at the time, right? Yeah, I wanted a scat pack. A scat pack at the time. Which imagine if you would have had got the scat pack. I'm so glad I didn't. But it was yeah. cool now now like I'm the truck in the friend group. Actually there's like one other friend that has a truck too. So we're always with the cool car. So we're like the pace cars. We're following them behind with all the gear and stuff. It's pretty cool. You know, you're the truck in the family too. So 
literally right now that we're going to go to Ikea, we're going to use your truck to bring everything back. Mm -hmm. And it's just super cool because it, it, I think your truck got us very far. It, yeah, it doesn't only benefit us. I think it benefits everyone else around us too. Yeah, we've let so many people use the truck for like stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, being the truck in the friend group is really cool. And I don't think you should ever get rid of that truck. Oh, heck no. I, I want to have that truck to where it's like the old truck. Like you look like... Right now, you look like a, like a 1990s uh, truck, and it's like, okay, yeah, it's an older truck, but I want my truck to have Oh, I don't know about that. all that. Like, I want to keep it forever. I don't know about all that. I was looking at the new trucks, I'm like, nah, I can't leave my truck. I want I want to age with this truck. What? Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh, Jake. I just want you to know that if you end up like my dad, I will call a tow truck so fast, you won't even know it. Too bad. So sad, brother. I always tell my mom, like, mom, just give me the okay, and I'll call the tow truck. <laughs> It's because they don't understand the thing about your dad. So her dad has an older car, but like literally mint condition, dude. Like 35, 40K miles on the dash. Yeah, because my dad's a Karen. He wouldn't let us go in there with any drinks, any food. You couldn't fidget. You couldn't put the windows down. You couldn't touch the roof. You couldn't do anything. And what year is his car? Do you remember? 1800s, 1700s, nah, be honest, 1600s. Be honest. I'm not sure. Okay, I think the car, his car, the year It's older is than him and he's 78. Oh. So I don't know. <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking about the Tahoe. No. Oh, I'm thinking about the Tahoe. I'm, I'm like, talking nah, about like the piece of okay, shit okay. car. He has, <laughs> he has like a grand, I don't know what it's called. It's like an old, old car. The ones that you see that are donk cars now. but The that ones car, that kill your brain cells? I don't know why he hasn't gotten rid of that car because that car is literally breaking down. I can't turn it at all. There's no Jay, power steering at all. It kills your thing. brain cells, actually. because It's a, it's like the ice cream chugs. <laughs> no, worse, worse, worse. Dude, that smells a trigger. I remember we would take road trips in it, and it, like the headaches I would get from that smell. Jake, because I don't think you guys understand. It's not the smell because we had two old cars, okay? And the other one also smelled bad, but nothing compared to this other one. Dude. As soon as you turn it on, like your head starts like throbbing from that. That can't be good for your health. Uh -uh. And I'm getting that. I'm getting is. that same feeling right now because I know what you're what you're smelling in your head. And your dad's oh, doesn't man. smell like that because his dad also has a piece of shit car, but it doesn't smell. <laughs> like that. My dad has like a 1960 something or 1970 something uh, Impala, so she's referencing these older cars, like classic cars. And it doesn't smell as bad as my dad's. Like his, he'll turn it on and I'm a little, Ooh, but then I'll walk a little bit away and then it doesn't smell as bad. My dad's dude, like the whole neighborhood smells like it. There's something wrong with that car, dude. One day it's just gonna go, boom. <laughs> I swear, I swear. I remember we were literally like, dad, you could never light a cigarette, cigarette in this car because we're gonna blow. Why doesn't he sell it? Just like sell for a thousand dollars Because my max. dad's a hoarder. 500. Nobody will buy for a thousand. 500 dollars. That's, that's a good price. No. He'll be lucky if somebody takes it for free, bruh. <laughs> we're gonna have to pay for the tow truck to take that piece of shit. <laughs> it's so bad and he never drives it because you guys, I'm telling you, you can't drive that thing. Like, it's an actual hazard to society. Like, when me and Nelly, if you guys have not watched that video, please go watch it because it's so funny. That video is hilarious. It's so funny. So me and Nelly took it out for like a whole spin, right? And it was so bad because, so <laughs> It doesn't have power steering, but it's not just that, okay? Aside from the fact that it doesn't have power steering, it doesn't turn all the way. So, like, when you turn the wheels, okay, it starts, like, going, like, er, 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 and it doesn't <laughs> turn. So, like, when you're trying to do a turn, you literally can't, bro. We almost crashed. It was so bad. It has so many issues. Did you guys go on the freeway with that car? Are you crazy? I wouldn't be here today. It <laughs> overheats. You can't go over 40 miles per hour because it overheats, bro. <laughs> Dude. It's so bad. That's why people in that video were like so mad because we were shit talking my car, my dad's car. But it's not just that it's an old ass car. It's, it's not a, a safe car. It's not a safe car, bro. It shouldn't exist. It's actually so bad. Yeah, that car is not safe at all. Dude, I remember this is a core memory. This is the reason why I hated Bakersfield. Like, you guys know how I always used to shit talk Bakersfield. And Let look at you, you now, dating the guy from Bakersfield. Dude, this is, why, this is exactly what I mean by karma doesn't let you hear the end of it. Okay, the reason why I hated Bakersfield was because of this stupid ass car. Because if you know, going to Bakersfield, it's a whole hill. It's a whole mountain you have to pass. Once we were starting on that mountain, AC's off, uh, the, the lane where the trucks go, and we would go up that hill like 30 miles per hour. I remember, dude, we get honked at. Like, it was so bad. And then one time... It would not one time. It would overheat like every single fucking time. And we'd have to pull over. And my dad would have to like pop the hood. And it, dude, it would take us like four hours to get to Bakersfield. Actually, it was so bad. And the whole time, keep in mind, because the AC is off, you have to put the windows down to be able to fucking not die. But the smell, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I know. I remember. I remember growing up, leaving Bakersfield, going to like Los Angeles area. We would have to turn the AC off too. And then when I got my new truck, I would drive to Bakersfield. I mean, uh, I would drive to Los Angeles, Bakersfield pretty often. And I was like, hold up. Do I still have to turn my AC off or do I have to like 
can I leave it on? And I guess with the newer cars, you can leave it on. I remember our first time they went to Bakersfield in my Malibu. It was like the first time ever. I called my dad. I was like, dad, do we have to put the AC down? It was when me and Nelly went. We got a fucking flat tire. I was like, dad, do we have to put the AC down in the car? He's like, no, it's a new car. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, bruh. It's just crazy. It's so crazy. I hate that car so much. And you know what the worst part about that car is? Is it made our life impossible. Let me tell you why. So my parents' house has an attic. Okay. And this attic is where you store all your shit. So that's where all of our seasonal stuff was in, like our Christmas stuff, Halloween stuff. And every single year, we've always been the type of people to decorate. Always. And I still am. <laughs> but we've all, I remember growing up, that was what we were excited for, you know, it was to decorate. Don't show the tag. Is that what you're trying to show? Oh, no, I, I haven't know. ripped the tag off because <laughs> it says pumpkin and it's part of the decoration. So. I remember we always wanted to decorate. So as soon as September 1st would hit, we would want to we'd start bugging like, mom, can we decorate? Can we decorate? Can we decorate? And she'd always be like, no, it's still summer. So we'd have to wait till October 1st. But we knew if we wanted to have the decorations out by October 1st, we had to start bugging my dad September 1st because my dad needed to move the stupid car out because we had to get like the, um, <laughs> does that, but it was yeah. a whole process because like that stupid car, sometimes it wouldn't even turn on. Dude, it was so bad. Like when that car was broken, my mom couldn't move it to get the stuff down. So we had to wait for my dad to come and fix the stupid car to be able to get it out. And like, keep in mind, my dad didn't drive it. Like my dad has never driven this car. He just I've, has it there. I've never seen him drive it once. Actually, mm -hmm. one once or twice. That's it. Oh, I'll tell you when. When he drove it and he stayed at the side of the road and we had to go save him because the <laughs> stupid car overheated. Okay, anytime he's used it, babe, like something is happening. That's probably why he doesn't use it anymore. He's like, All right, if I use it one more time, no, I have you to You want to know it. why he uses it or why he used it? He stopped using it for the past like three years because it was so bad the last time he left him on the side of the road. The only reason he would use it was because we would nag him and be like, you don't use it. Right. That was our argument was like, if you were to use the car, no problem. Keep it. But he didn't. So we would be like, you don't even use it. So yeah, why do you keep it? I only seen him use it once. And it was like he was driving his workers with him to go to the work to the job site or wherever he was going. Mm -hmm. But I was like, nah. And my mom started being like, <laughs> then my mom started, you know, like kind of um, putting her foot down and she'd be like, no, because my mom used to have a cruise back then. I don't know if you guys remember. She used to have like a red cruise and she got that like in 2018 or something like that. And my dad would want to use the cruise to go to work because my dad has the two big trucks, right? But he didn't always have those trucks. So back then he used to have an old, old, the same kind of truck, but like it was like a super old one that would also overheat. That was his first truck ever. He bought it. I remember he bought it cash. Was, that's how he started the business. And that truck, he only had one, but sometimes he needed to get around in another car. And then my dad's little, the red truck got crashed. Do you guys remember that? I don't know if they know that. Uh, the OGs remember the red okay, car. Okay, so the red car. Anyway, it got crashed, totaled, and then my mom had the cruise. So my dad would want to use my mom's cruise to go take, like, the workers back and forth and, like, get from different sh job sites. And my mom's like, nah, you want to take the cruise? Then get rid of that other car so that the cruise can go in the garage, and then I'll let you use it because then we can <laughs> all use it. But my dad would be like, nah, nah, the other one still works. So then I was like, all right, best. So don't use the cruise. Take your other car whenever you need a separate car. And then my dad would get left at the side of the road, bro, all the time when I fucking tell you, Ricky, all the time. And then he just finally, you know, decided he was never going to use it again. So now it's just literally been collecting dust at the house for the past three years. Yeah, it's about time. Hey, we have to, next time we see him, we're going to tell him about it. Like, what's up with the car? Because we're going to get rid of it for him. Dude, every time. I'm telling you, the amount of times I've told my mom, like, mom, please let me call the fucking tow truck. Actually, matter of fact, anybody who wants it, I'll give it to you for free. <laughs> For free. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Anyway, that's such a funny freaking story that I could go on and on about because we have so many stories about this stupid ass car. <laughs> but people get so mad whenever I talk about it because they're like, y'all don't know about classics. No, you don't know about trash. That's what you don't know about, bro. She, she has this argument with my dad every time. My dad has like a nice, cool car. <laughs> and she's like, it's old. And he dies. He just laughs all the time. No, but your dad's actually works, babe. That's the thing. If it's a classic car that works, go for it. You know what I want? I want a classic Bronco. That's what I want. You know, they're like 100K. Yeah, I know they're like 100K. That's why my dad's fixing up his. He's going to sell it for like 40. Yeah, but that's not a Bronco. It's an Impala. <sighs> the Broncos are only freaking like kind of famous because of OJ, bruh. Oh, I, I only want a Bronco because of that pink Bronco that's viral on TikTok. It has the cream seats and it's pink. I don't even think you'll like it. it doesn't They don't steer the same as yes, the new cars. Yes, it's really expensive. They like redid it. It's oh, they like upgraded a, everything? Yeah, so okay. basically you have to like... Pay for literally the car. Well, the lease it'll run you for is 100K, but it goes hella, hella up because they redo the entire car to where everything is. It's like a, it's a new car, not a new car, but it has all the new features like memory seat and everything is brand new and they like paint it, but it just has the look of a classic car. Kind of genius, right? Mm -hmm. 
that's the only car I'll take as a classic. But that my dad's car needs to go. And anyway, yeah, I hope you guys, I hope nobody gets offended over all the shit we've been talking. It's and I hope my dad watches this. Yeah, we're literally trolling. So don't be, don't get your, your panties in a bunch. I hope my dad watches this, dude. It's, I would pay money to see my dad's face with me talking all this <laughs> shit. <laughs> Today's podcast episode was a little shorter than usual, but we're going to be fixing up some things. I'm going to put my handyman hat on and everything. So that's going to wrap it up. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you haven't uh, watched any of our other ones, don't forget to watch, comment, subscribe, rate our podcast if you're listening. And we will see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Bye.